Hello, Faifa from NextRealm is here. Today I want to show you how to add a street to the scene. At the beginning, I want to split the screen in the half so I see what I'm working on in real time. So I will add a street which will be here and I will move it to be right there in the front of our building. Okay, now we are having our street. We want to start editing it by going to the street profile at the beginning and I want to change this to be four sides now it's two sides I want to change it to be four sides two sides each and to remove it until it reach the border now when I'm happy with the result that I'm getting I want to make an intersection here so um, it makes some assets there in the background and for sure I want to make some cars come from this spot and this spot so I want to make an intersection what I have to do to make an intersection is simply select this vertex and extrude it to where I would like it to be and re-extrude this to this direction so I get the intersection right I want to move the intersection a bit so I will move this vertex and why don't we move this also. Okay, we have our intersection here and for now I want to change the intersection width. So this is the cross line here that we're watching here. I want to decrease the offset that the intersection creates and that's simply doable by clicking on this button. Type, um, for example, I want to make it 5 now it's much shorter now I want to go back to the screen and change the profile the sidewalk profile I want it to be for example let's try this okay I don't like this one maybe let's try this one okay much better maybe let's try this one okay I like this one now I think I want to change this asset Art. I want to click here and maybe choose the asset. This one is looking cool. Let me see. Yeah, this one is better. And maybe decrease the spacing for one meter. Yeah. I like this result. And I want to move the fire hydrant from here. So I go to the surfaces and maybe increase it a bit. Increase the spacing a bit to 25 maybe. And we're moving it right now to maybe 30, let's try 30. Yeah, here we go. This is much better. And maybe I want to increase the spacing between the trees. So I can go to the tree section. Let's make it eight maybe, or 7.5. I think I'm cool with that. Now, um, now we can change the material if we'd like to. Let's try this one see the overall view mm, I don't like it let's try this one it's kind of cool the color that's just getting maybe let's try uh, this one now it's so bright I don't like this one let's try this one I think this one is cool enough we can try to change the brick line mm, let's try the yellow one yellow and black I think I'll go back to the default one okay, okay. now uh, if we go to the optimization so we can optimize stuff I can actually this is the camera that I'm using I can use camera cooling and select my cam so what's happening is I need to update camera properties and what is happening right there is the assets is only now showing in the border of the camera so when I move my cam the assets will appear only in the cam border so let's move it back to where it should here we go and I just want to show how the assets don't appear why we use the camera killing and when we turn it off the assets will appear okay so we can also check this box, we'll, and this will, will hide the assets only in the viewport. 
So if we're happy with the result, we can hide the assets and the assets and viewports. So that will make the viewport faster to deal with. Order this again. Okay. Now I can go to this simulation. But first I want to hide the killing and hide and reveal the assets. Let me go to the simulation. Only I have to do is to click the play button and the simulation will start. As you can see there, we have our first car moving and this is the second. Everything is working fine. Maybe I want to have more cars. So what I want to do is to increase the car's density. I want to make it seven maybe and restart the simulation so it takes again. The simulation feature in 3.6 is going to make a cache like the purple line here and if we increase or decrease any value or we change the seed we have to recalculate that so i'll be back until the car reaches sweet spot like there okay i want to keep it like this now for the seek of increasing the speed of the calculation we can do something we press shift edge to isolate the street and then we can click this button to isolate the simulation and if we click play now it's gonna calculate so much faster process much faster so I will stop it right there and end the isolation and press alt edge in the scene so I have everything back the cars are following the traffic system so when the traffic light is red the cars will not move and when it turns into green the car will move and the cars don't hit each other because they are in a simulation system where they read any car in front of them and behave considering the distance between it and the obstacle now for the texturing i can uh, make it wet a bit. If I increase the water height, then increase the width. Oh, so I did everything by mistake. I just want to increase the width. So as you can see here, it's getting wet. The street is getting wet. I can increase this, the water height, the scale. But I think for this scene, it's not right to have it wet. So I make it dry. And also, just to know, we can make it snowy. Are going to be affected with this. You can increase this now. You can increase it again. Okay, perfect. Now, if we want to uh, remove the decals, let me remove the snow because it's not suitable for this scene. If I want to remove the decals, all I have to do is to decrease this one to zero. And Leave your opinion and thoughts in the comment section. If you need to read the documentation, go to the Blender Market page. You will have everything in detail. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and have a great day.